Sara, I've met La Moral. Why didn't you send me to them first? La Moral? Last I heard they were a small group always on the edge of falling apart. They're doing more fighting than the legends. Okay, but watch your step. La Moral has a bad rep and I don't want Libertad's name to be dragged down with him. I'll keep my eyes open. Nice work with that rescue. I heard you kicked Benitez's ass, Danny. I wish I could have been there, but my battlefield is right here, watching this goddamn door. I think I want out of this shit. I heard it was someone from Libertad's rescue. What's happening? Meeting on the mound. Some of our friends want to quit early. Okay, listen up. This isn't worth killing for. Sure as hell isn't worth dying for. We're young. We should be out there drinking and fucking and skipping school. Woo! Our parents and grandparents already stole our future. Why should we give a shit? That's what I used to think. And then one day, Admiral Benitez walked into my classroom with a gun. She called on your name, you came to the front. One by one. Alvarez. Bermudez. Carrillo. The Admiral read their crimes. Protesting, handing out pamphlets, liking a Clara Garcia post. Fernandez, Jimenez, Peña. I learned a lesson on my last day at school. You can either be on the right side of history or the wrong side of Castillo's guns. Wise words, young Guerrilla. La Moral taking new members? Depends. What? Is there an age limit? I will bleed for La Moral if you take me. Welcome to the war, viejo. <laughs> so how do we take out the Admiral? Push-ups are the first step to victory. The Grand Hotel, Danny. That's the key. I got a convoy I like to make friends with. No. We need Carlito. Push-ups never lie. I am Gilberto Rosario, bachelor, performer, spy master for La Revolución. You may have seen my better half on TV, Rosamel. Don't look so surprised. It's amazing what blue makeup and a pair of coconuts can do. The government thinks they're using Rosamel to influence the hearts and minds of Jarans. But Rosamel is the one choosing them. A little dance, a little wink, a lot of rum. And these military generals sing songs that could get their tongues cut out by Castillo. But Rosamel can't be everywhere at once. So I send out my chameleons. They blend in everywhere, become anyone, and they all report to me. My best, Sergio, has been working undercover at the stables. He has become very cozy with one Capitan Osvaldo Diaz, a target we've been watching for some time. He has given us the signal to rendezvous. But Dios mío... All my chameleons are in the field right now. Could you meet with Sergio Honey? I don't know what he needs, but I think he's in trouble. And you don't strike me as someone who's afraid of a little trouble. You just that backpack back of yours is you fabulosa. Was such a good idea. What can I say? Your little speech pumped me. Be up. See! The part where you put the... I like these young Darius. They remind me of, well, me, 
only smaller. And it's going to take a lot more than a basement full of little me's to win this war. The time has come, baby Tigre. We need Carlito. The fifth legendary member of the 67th Revolution, and the toughest motherfucker I ever knew. Soldados would piss their pantalones when they came face to face with him. You know the expression, two birds with one stone? Well, Carlito once shot down two planes with one bullet. He is a national treasure. That was before he retired and went to work in the museum. The regime has put him in a cage to be insulted by filthy true Yaran turistas. His true destiny is on the field of battle. I'll meet you at the museum. Together we will free Carlito from his prison. Castillo has many bullets, but we will have Carlito. And Carlito only needs one. There's these farmers in Sombreado Gorge. They're super fans of La Moral. Actually, they're super fans of me. They were part of my fan club when I was on the national team. They tipped us off to this special convoy that always rolls through Shao Pass. We put together a smash and grab attack plan, and I told my super fans to sit tight until they hear the word knuckleball. Nobody knows what this fancy combo is carrying, but we know it's valuable. Benitez always slams it with crazy security. A hundred soldados. Danny, we need you to hit the convoy. I'm sure you can handle this all by yourself. But if you want some help, my people are pumped and ready to go. I'll keep tabs on the convoy and let you know when it's near the pass. Don't know about you, but I fucking love hearing convoys. Hey, Danny. Listen up. I need you to go to the Grand Hotel Caballero. It used to be a resort for wealthy tourists but Benitez converted it into some sort of prison torture hellhole. One of our fighters, Hugo, is being held there, which means he's got an appointment with the dentist, the regime's best interrogator. If the dentist gets any information out of him, we're fucked. He's got a good heart, but Hugo will crack like a fucking coconut. You need to stop that interrogation, whatever it takes. I already sent a scout to the hotel. She'll help when you get there. And one of Gilberto's people can get you past the guards if you hide in the back of his delivery truck. But you better hurry. The truck is leaving soon from the delivery yards. Benitez can't find out where we are, Danny. We got El Tigre on our side. What that? that was some speech, right? With El Tigre on our side, we got... Hola. Hey, I'm driving up to the hotel. I can sneak you past the guard. Oh, shit! You're doing this mission? Hell yeah. I hate dentists. Me too. They say when you're in her chair, you either give up information or your life. Or both. Then I'm going to have to find Hugo quickly. Our scouts are already in position and ready to help. You heard Yelena earlier. That was the voice we needed. Sometimes it's hard to tell if we're winning or losing, you know? We're going to win this thing. I promise you that. Quiet. 
Open up and let's take a look. I don't know. It's only for your boss to open. I don't even know what's inside. The fuck you talking about? Hey, that's what I was told. You can open it if you want. The dentist said nobody was allowed to look inside. Oh, for her. Fuck that. Go on. Head up. Some huge hotel on a mountain. Looks fancy. Gran Hotel Caballero. Since 1740, that place has been a military prison. Then a hotel, then back to being a prison, then a hotel again. Looks like this place isn't taking reservations. When Castillo's there, it's always checkout time. How long are we doing this? I don't know. My jokes have no vacancy. <laughs> I'm hanging up now. Your eyes on this one, and I'm in position. The dentist is already in there with them. Pinga, I thought dentists were always late. Not this one. That's my book. <laughs> dale, boom boom, dale. What did you find for me? Boom, boom. Come on, boom boom. Let's go. Good dog. Now, what do we have here? Queso. Just tell me where your headquarters is, and I won't shoot that stupid grin off your face. Go get them, boom boom. I'll never tell you. Any minute now, my people are going to rescue me and make a corpse out of you. Ah. <laughs> I'm on it. Yeah. 
she was going to fucking kill me for sure. Yelena, the dentist is dead. La morale is safe. That's fucking great news, Danny. Oh, and I took the hotel for you. Consider it a gift. You what? Okay. Wow. Gracias. Con... Come here. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want the people of Yara to know about the conflict? <laughs> conflict? It's business as usual. Look, in spite of all the rumors going around, there's no war. At least not here in eastern Yara. Am I right, Admiral? This is not a war. There. The criminals of La Libertad will be stopped. Yeah. They're few, we are many. You hear that? Libertards? This means chica. She means business. And what about the violent gang known as La Moral? Anyone who attacks Yara's military or a business interests is not a true Yaran. My strategy... And I helped her with the strategy. I've got decades of experience. I ran a security firm. The East is safe. Am I right? Right. No prea capas, por nada. That's a cut. I gotta go. Señor Presidente. Admiral, so lovely to hear your voice. If I could ask, how is it that a group of school children in El Este are inflicting the highest number of active duty casualties of this war? Admiral? They, um, they have support. From Libertad and the Legends. I've always taken a personal interest in your career. Handpicked you out of the Academy. But make no mistake, there were more experienced, more qualified, and more intelligent officers in line before you. You stood out for one simple reason. Si, sí, señor presidente. You were a woman in uniform. And now you could be the highest ranking woman ever to have her head on a pike. Gracias, señor presidente. Higher! I want them higher! Looks like more of a guerrilla than you. Not yet. You think I can't do this on my own? We need people to feel like they're part of this fight. They have the RPGs you need along with other badass shit. And remember, there's no I in team. But there is an I in win. Cool, cool. I guess everyone in El Este can go to the beach while you're overthrowing Castillo alone. I'm kidding, Honron. But think about recruiting your super fans. Gracias. I can't wait until there's robots that will do this shit work. Have we met? She's just mad at me because she's mad at Libertad. I'm so dumb. I am tired of helping these selfish little children. I am tired of convincing all the farmers around here to help Libertad. You guerrillas do nothing for us except put our lives in danger. You love saying that you are fighting for the people, but you don't even know who the people are, do you? Today is the day Libertad returns the favor to me and my farmers. 
or else we are going to stop helping you hypocrites. Oíste? Go to the Arese, Duarte, and Hinojosa Farms in Casa Rivera. Give them a hand with anything they need. Let them know they're not being forgotten. If my farmers are happy, I'm happy, and we will keep helping Libertad. I need a ride. Don't fuck with the speed, it's just how I like it. I think this will help. Tell me what you know. Hola, guerrilla. We're going to hit the army today. Ambush. Fight with us and show them that El Este breeds some tough-ass guerrillas. I appreciate it. a pacemaker and that electricity is too dangerous for me will you go unplug those wires see sí. let me help you help me with this then i'll help you with that Gracias, gracias. It means a lot to me. Señora Toca, I helped Señora Rivera with her electrical system. Is she happy with that? Seems so. Did she want you for more chores? Uh, no, she just kept thanking me. That sounds like her.
to find for me. Shit. Those guerrillas might need some help. Having a ride. Come here. Petra says you could use a hand. See, si, it's my fighting rooster, El Gallo Magnifico. It's not safe for him to be around here. The soldados keep threatening to kill him. Go in my shed and take him away. Give him a safe home. That's it? Nice doggy. Senora Toca, I help the people at Arreste Farm. They seem happier now that their rooster will have a new owner. That is what was bothering him? Some people have tiny problems and think it's the end of the world. It is what it is. True. It is what it is. Hostage. I got you, Singo! Okay, careful. Let me go. Looks like this farm has a pest problem. Why are you helping terrorists? Answer me! I am not helping you. Oh, over here. Oye. Y gracias. You got it. That hijo de puta found the Libertad Fio Hospital. The one I'm hiding in my house. Did he call it in? No. I don't think so. Is there anything else you need? Me? No. I've got medicine if you need it. You saved my life, and like I told Petra, I will keep helping as long as you guerrillas keep killing soldados. Now, I just need to get rid of this body. Senora Toca, I saved Senor Duarte and took out a nosy soldado that was bothering him. Did they find the secret clinic your guerrillas were using? No. <sighs> That's good. If the soldados find that clinic, they will arrest all of us. Pero hijo de puta. I should call Senor Ratoka. Senor Ratoka, I have some bad news about the Inojosa farm. The soldados executed the people here. Who? 
An older couple and two guerrillas. That's probably their boys. Coño. Their boys lost bragging about being guerrillas. They were drawing too much attention to their parents and well. What should I do? Nothing. I'll send someone. This is not the first family the soldados execute. Someone. This is not the first family the soldados executed. I promise you that. Stay cool. Get off my land, assassin! I will fight until you die! You shot me right through the heart! There is nothing you can say that will make me forgive you! I know you're out there! Get off my land, assassin! <laughs> Castillo's men are not allowed on my land! Come back! Lorenzo sent me! Miguelina? Who are you? I'm a friend of Lorenzo's. Are you one of his children? What? No. Look, I have a letter from him. A letter? Why didn't you just say so? I did. Three times. Lorenzo apologizing? To me? My heart. I can feel it beat again. I'm carried on the wings of butterflies. Cool. I'm just going to head out. Shh! I'm reading!
Lorenzo, I just delivered your letter to Miguelina. You couldn't warn me about all her booby traps? Dios mío, is she hurt? I'm fine, thanks for asking. Miguelina's fine too. She's just trapped in the past, like a lot of you legends. I hope my apology will put her on the path to closure. Now, Danny, please come back. I have another favor that needs favoring. Okay, Lorenzo. Danny comes back soon. I am in a predicament. Hola. Que vola. I don't know how much history you kids read, but our revolution was a bloodbath. Yara endured so many casualties and so many beautiful women were widowed, alone, yearning to feel something other than despair. I am responsible for countless victory children. I fathered them, but I was no father. Instead of doing the right thing, I ran into the arms of the next woman. For decades, hundreds of mothers wrote me. They sent pictures of my children. I denied my part. I hid in this mountain. One can hide for only so long. The guilt of being a bad papa pulls my heart into the ground. I am too ashamed to see them. And honestly, a little terrified of what they might do. That's why I have penned these letters. Just a couple to start. Can you please deliver them? I will send you pictures of my children, ones their mother sent me. You May the wind protect you on this journey to mend hearts. Hey, Lorenzo, did you see Yelena's speech? Ah, she thinks some fancy words and a few bullets can start a revolution. It was enough Hello. to get a TV oh, yeah. on board. El Tigre will do anything to prove he's not like the rest of us. Legends? <laughs>